Hello, today I'm going to show you how to navigate the online system you're currently using. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is over here on the left side there is a spot for announcements. This will be after you log into the computer with the username and password you've been given. Um, feel free to read any of the announcements that you see that look like they would be something that you would need to read, um, but if not you can minimize them. The next thing is there is a to-do list. This to-do list updates every day. It shows you every assignment you have um, that was currently due or past due up through the next week. So it will give you a total number up here and then show you everything that you have coming up through in any um, order in which they were due. It's important to note that even when something isn't, if something is past due, it does show up there as you can see. Um, on the left side, there's a this button here that's a performance indicator. Um, if you click on this, it's going to take you into your individual gradebook for your, each class. Um, this is a snapshot of everything you've got, your progress in the course, and your current grade. Um, to go into the grade, the course itself, you can click on this, and it's going to take you in and show you every due date that you have between now and the end of the course, whether it's a semester course or the end of the school year. So you can see everything you have to do for the entire year. Um, to give you a little more insight into this, you can see when you submit something, it tells the date, and then it also tells you when it was due. Um, if you see a, something that looks like this, this means that the teacher has left a comment. So if you click on the grade itself, you can read the feedback from the teacher. Um, as you can see here, the teacher typed in that. If you would like to see the questions you missed, you can click on the questions thing. And it will show you every question and what the correct answer was and what you selected. The next thing I'd like to show you is this activity button inside the gradebook. This will show the amount of time that you've spent in the lesson on each day and the exact amount of time that you spent in it. So you can keep track of your attendance this way or um, see you know, the times you run, the lessons that you have done. We as teachers can also see this. So that is everything there on the left side that you should need to use. Um, there is a school calendar here. If you click on that, that will show you the amount of assignments you have due on each day. Um, it will also show you with days such as October 9th, we don't have school. It will show you that there's nothing due that day. However, it's important to note that you do have access to all of these courses 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, whether there is no school or not. Going back to the home screen, um, I'm going to down here at the bottom is going to show you the um, st everything that you do for a day. So you can see, on October 10th, someone updated a score in there, and then you also submitted an activity. So every time you submit something, it will show up down here, um, and any time a teacher grades it, it will also show up down here. Um, to enter the courses themselves, you simply need to click on the course. Um, I will do that real quick, but I'm also going to send a different video out about that. So you can see this will take you into your course and start you out that way. Um, the last thing I want you to note is on the courses, um, if you notice, each course has a code after it. So Forensic Science 1 has an E, Mathematics 3 has a GS, and Health has the word sequential after it. Um, all those courses um, will all have different um, ways they function in that. So I'm gonna, there will be a different video to teach you how to go in and um, navigate those courses.